This is the GoV Invisual Backlight T2. If you're looking for ways to discourage your kids from sitting in front of the TV, this is not it, because this is awesome. It is the solution to problems I didn't even know I had. So let's show you how easy it is to set up, take a look at some of the features, stick around to see how you can spice it up with some automations once you incorporate it into your smart home. So let's get to it. The GoV T2 television backlight is available in three different sizes. For TVs from 55 to 65 inches, 75 to 85 inches, and 98 to 100 inches. So many inches! Affiliate links below. The system comes with a roll of four connected LED strips that you peel and stick to the back of your television. It also has these little plastic clips to support the strip ends. The real magic of this TV backlight is in the GoV Invisual dual cameras that sit on top of your television. Unlike sync boxes that take in the HDMI signal and then interpret that signal to sync the lights to match, the GoV system uses cameras that point backwards and actually watch your TV with you so it can match the LED colors to the colors it sees on the screen. It's very cool technology. Now I know having a camera sitting on top of your TV seems a little weird at first, but trust me, within a couple days, you won't even really notice it. Besides, it wasn't that long ago that TVs had all sorts of weird stuff on it, so I think you can handle it. That actually brings up another benefit of the camera syncing system. If you're using a sync box, you're limited by the number of HDMI inputs on that box. Plus, it will only sync content coming to your TV from HDMI. With the GoV T2 cameras, your LED lights will sync to anything showing on the TV, no matter how it got there. And yes, it would even work on an old school tube TV, but no, I am not gonna hit up any garage sales to find one so I can test that theory out. After your light strips are affixed, completing the setup is really easy. Almost as easy as hitting that subscribe button in your browser. The camera just rests on top of the center of your television with this clever mount. Then connect the camera and LED lights to the control box and plug it in. You can stick the control box to the back of the TV as well. Once you pair the GoV T2 to the GoV mobile app on your phone, you'll be taken through a calibration process. You'll have to stick these little orange foam squares to the corners and sides of your television screen to do it, but they don't hurt the screen and your dog will love eating them. The whole process only takes a few minutes. And now the fun can begin. The GoV app offers all kinds of modes and lighting effects for your TV backlights. If you have other GoV products, many of these modes will be familiar. You can sync it to music. You can set specific colors. There are a ton of preset automated scenes or you can even build your own. But with the GoV T2, the star of the show is video mode. This is where you sync your lights to what is showing on the screen. It gives you plenty of options to fine tune the lights to your liking. There is a game setting and a movie setting. I like the movie as it's just a little bit less jarring in the color changes. You can also choose how the camera interprets the screen with these three choices. Smooth mimics the exact edge of the screen, Vivid evaluates the color of a portion of the screen near the edge, and Solid evaluates the average color of the whole screen and lights up the whole LED strip with a single color. Just go with Vivid, it's generally the most pleasing to the soul. With sound effects on, the lights will kind of pulse based on the sound coming out of the TV. This is super annoying when watching a movie, but for a shoot 'em up game, it can be kind of fun. The last option here is a new feature that was added with the latest app release. It turns the LED backlights off when it detects a black screen after a certain amount of time, and it will also turn the LED backlights back on again when it detects a picture on the screen. Now this is a pretty neat feature that works most of the time, but I use a power monitoring smart plug to do the same thing, and I'll show you why when we get to the automations later. The last thing I want to point out here is the DreamView capability. If you have other DreamView capable Gobi lights, you can sync all of those together based on what the T2 is outputting. It's a pretty impressive effect when you get a ton of lights in your room, so give this video tons and tons of likes and hopefully we can show you that in the future. Overall, the GoV Invisual Backlight T2 is a ton of fun, the colors look incredible, there's no lag, and it makes me want to watch TV more than I already do, which is kind of shocking, really. Now, the only downside to the T2 is that it makes watching other TVs in my house about as exciting as driving an eight-year-old Toyota Camry. So out of the box, this thing is pretty great, but with a little home automation wizardry, we can make it even better. We can even use it to notify our kids to get their butts upstairs for dinner. Now that is parenting at its finest. Now I will say that Gobi could really get their act together when it comes to integrating their devices with other smart home hubs. If you want to automate or control the T2 outside of the Gobi app, the best way to do it is to add it to Amazon Alexa using their built-in Alexa integration. 
Then you can automate them with Alexa routines and more advanced automations can be triggered with virtual buttons or switches coming from your smart home hub. This Alexa integration is the only way to automate different modes on the Govi T2 backlight. The Google Home integration is more limited and there is no HomeKit integration. Boo! Anyway, in order to tell the Gobi strip light if my TV is on or off, I have plugged my TV into an INNR power monitoring smart plug. Then in my Hubitat hub, I have a virtual switch that turns on when the plug senses a power draw of greater than 50 watts and turns off when that draw drops below 40 watts. Using that virtual switch, I can create a routine in Alexa that turns the Gobi T2 on and switches it to video mode when the TV turns on. It also turns the rest of the lights in the room down so we can bask in the full glory of the LED backlights. When the TV is turned off, the backlights go out and the main lights go back up. But what if I'm listening to music on the Sonos instead? No problem, I have a different automation that turns the Govi T2 on in music mode and then the lights are synced to the beat of the music. And how about if I trip on one of my kids' Nerf guns and bash my head in the fireplace and I'm bleeding out on the basement floor? Well, I don't really have an automation for that, but uh, if, if I mounted my Akara FP2 presence sensor on the ceiling, then that could detect my fall, which then could be used in a, as a trigger in a routine to turn the Goalie backlight on to a soothing scene so I'm more comfortable while I wait for the ambulance to arrive. See? So many options! But my favorite automation with the Govi TV backlight is using it as a notification device because the only way to get through to kids these days is to mess with their screens. So I have an Alexa routine set so that when I say, hey Alexa, tell the kids it's time for dinner, the backlight turns into a warning light and Alexa gives them a three minute warning. Dinner is almost ready. Shut off your game and come upstairs. You have three minutes. Two minutes later, they get a one minute warning and after three minutes, everything turns off and we can have a lovely family dinner together. Don't say I didn't warn you. Upstairs. Now. The kids love it. So those are some fun automations using the Govi Backlight T2. And even if you don't automate it, it is still a ton of fun. And speaking of tons of fun, I cannot wait to show you what we have in store for next week. So please ding that notification bell so you don't miss it. And if you can't wait that long, well, Check out these links for more Thrill-A-Minute DIY Smart Home Guy videos.